Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, just real quick, I am in a private server. No, I don't own my own private server. I had to use somebody else's, but um, I found an exploiter like flying around and, and glitching stuff out, and I'm like, dude, stop exploiting. And like, I'm not exploiting, I got glitched up. I'm like, dude, I just saw you flying across the screen. And then hitting this guy's truck and flinging it all over the place and hitting his stuff. And he's like, no, no, I was just glitching. Dude, I saw you flying. Okay, you came from the volcano all the way down. You stopped for a second. You're sitting here like spinning out. And then, <sighs> anyhow, I reported him. And all of a sudden, he's following me to all these like public things. Uh, so I went into my settings and I turned off the follow. He kept following me, so I blocked the avatar. So then he starts using alts to follow me. I'm like, mm, no. So here we are. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Lumber tech into. I'm still working on the bridge. It is, it is the night before Halloween. I think is. It yeah, it's it's the thirtieth as of today. Today is the thirtieth for you guys, unless you're like overseas or in a different time zone, something like that. Um. And Halloween is coming up, so we've got one more day. One more day to grab um, a sandbag, get sand, go over to um, the fancy furnishings and get a light bulb, and get your can of worms from Bob. Pick up a thing of TNT while you're there, because you're going to go blow up those rocks over there, and then you're going to go get your end times axe, which is down where the rookery axe is. Um, and actually... You know what? Instead of building tonight, I'm I, I'm gonna go show you how to before Halloween. So, uh, actually, not right not right now, because right in, right now it's nighttime, so I'm not gonna be able to pick everything up. But as soon as it hits daytime, I'll show you how to get the Rookery Axe slash End Times Axe, because you're going to want it. Trust me. Well, stay, 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 stay. Good job. Also, I was looking and I, I just realized um, I was not creating palm wood um, stuff at the top. I was just using regular old doors. But these are the doors that you guys created for the uh, Doors for Code event. And uh, I finally got them off Grammy's base. They are still here. We are still going to use them and it's going to be amazing. But it's just, it's going to take some time. That's all. What is this? Is this palm wood? This is not palm wood. Is it palm wood? No, that's that's just regular. That's oak, right? Yeah, that's that's oak tree right there. Okay. What am I looking for? I saw something over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look, 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 look. That's palm. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's a tiny floor. Let's destroy that. Oh. Hey, I do have some. Some little ones over here. Okay. Uh, actually, can we just put them straight up there? Ooh, yay! It's gonna take me a second to walk up there to verify that I put it on the right one. And I probably should like jut that out a little bit. Like take the right side of the floor, put it on the left side so it sticks out. That way I can uh, tell what I'm doing. Oh, look at this. We have ladders. Oh my goodness. I covered them all up with the the, the doors. Night big comes a day. <laughs> Try to run. Try to hide. Break on through to the other side. <clears throat> Sorry. That's a, a band called The Doors. Get it? <laughs> doors. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> Not really. That was, that was a lame dad joke code. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm, al I'm allowed to tell lame dad jokes now, because I'm a dad, so I, I have a permission slip to say horrible jokes that make no sense. Like the other night we were having spaghetti um, salad and, no, spaghetti, peas, and something else, and um, while well, dishing out the, the peas, I accidentally, like one of them hit the thing, and I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> dad peed on the table. <laughs> Uh, that's a good one. Classic. <laughs> Hashtag dad jokes. Okay, I think this is palm. 
This looks like it might be some birch. Nope, that's palm. And palm. And palm. So because I messed up on the uh, the patterns for palm and oak and palm and oak and blah, 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 I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, I was worried about it, and that's why the entire first half is all palm. But you know what? It's fine. It's cool. I have never been one of a stickler type that's been like, Oh, it must be this. And no matter what I've said in my past videos. Uh, da -da -da -da. Come on. There we go. Two. And three. And four. Five. Oh, come on. Come on. By the way, I have... Uh, I was working on my placement script the other day, trying to get this movement to work correctly. And I think I, I came up with something. It doesn't it doesn't look exactly the same, but it's kind of the same as far as placement scripts. Because I noticed something on placing this. If you look, see how the ladder has like a weird box around the outside of it? There is a script that I, I saw somebody do where it uses the bounding box. So if you do a rotate and stuff like that, it has this weird bounding box. There. So right now, the model of the ladder is slightly off to the left and the bounding box is slightly off to the right. So if I hit E, it'll appear where the bounding box is. That that slight transparent transparent box around the outside. Watch. Oh, what? See? So, anyhow. Uh, <laughs> nerd! Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. But I figured figured it out. Whoa, what, was, what happened there? Come on. Destroy. There we go. I'm going to have to figure out the move sequence as well. It's a little bit different than normal. Come on. Come on. No, not not you. You're you're the big piece. You stay over here. I don't want you getting lost in there. Oop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Throw. Not gonna be enough. It's okay. We're gonna take this one and split it in two. Maybe. There we go. That should give you just enough. Blink. <clears throat> I uh, I used to tell people how to conserve wood before the power came along by using mathematics and uh, percentiles. What you could do is you could use um, four different kinds of wood, and the wood that you wanted it to turn into, you could use the biggest piece. This is this is how we conserved our end times wood back in the day. Um, you would. And it, it could still be relevant if you don't have the power. Um, the reason I'm able to use these one units is because I have the, the build of ease, which is the ability to use one unit to build any blueprint. And that's any blueprint. Like if I if I wanted to, I could uh, I could come in here and do this one. Uh, wait, that's not that one. Uh, hold on. Where's the big one? The huge countertop. Is that it? Is that the countertop? I think that's it. So, that right there is like a marble countertop. Hold on. I could have sworn we had a bigger version of that. No, nope, that's the thin one. Huh. Okay, anyhow. This would normally take 30 units. 30 of these cubes. But because I've got the power, boink, one unit. So, and the letters usually take five units, so it would take five of these squares. And if you don't know what a unit is, it is a one by one Roblox, one by one by one Roblox unit. We don't know if it's a foot or if it's inches or if it's a meter or two millimeters. Like we don't know the actual size inside here, inside Roblox. There's no measurements like that. So what we have to use is what we know. And these are units. 
This is also how we tell um, how much the, the wood cost. So like if you take a piece of wood and you drop it off um, inside the, uh, the wood drop off to get money for it, um, however much money you get is how many units you sold off of that particular type of wood. Uh oh, oh goodness, this is an impurity. What I mean is it, it's like 99%, it's just on the edge. So we take a piece that's smaller than that. Um, so I know that that one's 99, if we pull it out, and I see that this one's worth 49. This is the bigger of the two, so this is the wood that it will become. Like, just like that. And that's how we used to use measurements in units. Back in the day, when I was young and lumber was, was new, It feels weird that I've been playing this game for five years and it's still, it's not lost its appeal to me. <laughs> I thoroughly still enjoy this game. Come on, come on, just on the edge. There we go. I need this little piece to finish it out there. There we go. Do, do, do. What? Come on. Wait, do I have a... Ooh, what's that over there? By the way, this is a private server. I wonder if... I uh, wonder if there's going to be any spook wood in here. I might I might take a peek once I start climbing up. There we go. Well, that works. That works too. So we need to take these and move them up, up there. I'm gonna do my best to try and aim. Can I just do this? No. You have to look down at the ground first to initiate it, which is kind of weird to me. Like, if you're going off the mouse, how would you... Right, can I point over there? Yeah, that works too. As long as it's pointing to the ground. It has to point to the ground first. I might ask Defaultia one day, like, hey, why doesn't this work if I look up at the sky first? Why do I have to look down at the ground? Because right now I'm moving it, but that, that model is nowhere on my mouse. As soon as I look down at the ground, or hold on, right? Boink. Boink, boink, boink. Okay, that didn't work either. It didn't appear on the doors, but now it appears on the doors. What? Oh, hold on. Let's put that right over there. <laughs> yeah, if I look down, it's like instantaneous. So weird. Code, you're weird. Yeah, I know. I, I am a weird guy. That's fine. So... Did anybody put in the comments what they were going dressed up as? Uh, I'm dressing up as my avatar. I'm going as Good Primate this year. Uh, I don't know how much candy I'm going to get, but you know. <sighs> Nobody usually answers the door whenever a 37 year old man answers, like rings the doorbell. Knocks on your door. <laughs> Trick or treat! Aren't you a little old to be doing... No. Give me candy, please. <laughs> we are going to be going to a neighborhood that's supposed to be completely like blocked off for this event and uh, for, for Halloween. So I'm excited because they got like a parade and they have floats and stuff like that. And then they've got like little balloons for the kids and it'll be fun. I hope it's not like little kid, little kid stuff, because, you know, my nine-year-old and 12-year-old are getting all grown up. I'm like, Dad, we don't want to do baby stuff anymore. This year I asked them, hey, do you want to go to the haunted maze? And like, yeah, we we'll guess we'll go. It got rained out. So I had suggested, why don't we go to the actual haunted house? Both of them were excited, like, oh, we get to go to the real haunted house? Yeah. And then mom said no. 
I'm like, why not? Well, because they get nightmares. Okay, I'll take them then. Boo, Dad! Wait, what? No, I, d I wanted to take you, and Mom said no. But Dad's not following through. Oh, okay. I can't win. <gasps> Sometimes. <clears throat> Anybody else having fun? Just walking up these ladders that seem to go on forever. Actually, oh, I climbed too high. What is that? Is that it? Is that what I think it is? That kind of looks like a lava tree. What? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go look for Spook. I'm gonna have to go look for Spook in just a second. Oh man, I completely messed up those, didn't I? All right, let's go fix this. Nope, uh, move. <laughs> Gotta go up. No, no, stop, stop. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, put that there. There we go. How about, how about we just, oh, come on. Come on, just, why don't we just do the ones that we know are right here. They won't give us a hard time. These are, these are the easy ones. This way we can just build up and up and up. It feels kind of like building Legos. But, you know, copyright says we can't call them Legos. I'll, I'll call them Bloxos. Bloxos! I guess, I guess you could call it a Lego. Nobody's gonna stop you. Until you, like, throw an actual logo Lego on there. Le a Lego logo. <clears throat> Lego, Lego logo. Logo, Lego, Lego, Lego. Coach, you need more coffee. I know, dude. Don't tell him. <clears throat> Man, I built pretty far up without uh, any ladders, didn't I? I cannot reach those down there. Alright. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move this. Come on. Move that up to there. Mink. Move. Come on. Move. I don't like that the camera just gently goes out. I wish it just snapped to the last place that it was, you know? But that's a Roblox thing. We can't we can't control that one and Defaultio doesn't have any control over it. So just snap. All right, is this going to be the first one of a non-contemporary or non? You know what? I'm still paranoid about it. We're, we're just going to we're going to do palm as long as we can. Oh well. My goodness, that went up pretty high, didn't it? All right, let's go ahead and get this out of here. Oh, come on, no, oh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> Normally in my building videos, I have a lot to talk about. I just, I haven't had a lot to talk about lately. And it's, it, oh, goodness gracious me, don't do that. Oh man, okay, hold on, safety net, there we go. Now that one I should be able to. Oh gosh. Nope, I can't get it on there. So we're gonna have to go over there. Come on, come on. I just haven't had a lot to talk about. Um ideas and plans for programming videos. I've uh I've been doing a little side project, kind of learning how to do it. It's called Udemy. I don't know if you've uh, ever heard of it. But, oh gosh, oh, stop, stop. Whew. I had, uh, I'd found, or no, I hadn't found, somebody had pointed out to me that there was a Udemy of my entire book. Somebody had taken my entire book, word for word, verbatim, and copied it over to Udemy. 
And they were selling these tutorials for like $300. What? Are you kidding me? So, anyhow, I think what Udemy does is they say, yeah, $300, and then they'll mark the price down by like a thousand percent. That way it's only 30 bucks. And that way they can claim it as a sell. Huge sell blowouts. Anyhow. I thought, why not go and make a legitimate Roblox Udemy thing for people to enjoy? Or not just not just Roblox. I'm doing I'm thinking like all kinds of tutorials. I know how to program in Java. I know how to do uh, cold fusion. I know how to do HTML. And, and there's a there's a huge demand for it, but at the same time, it's very saturated. So I'm gonna have to look at it and see what I can do to make it better and more worthwhile to actually go and get a Udemy. Udemy, Udemy. And you know, there's other things that have been popping up. Um, we've got Halloween, and I was working on the um, the haunted fun house. By the way, I am switching to the palms, or switching away from palms to regular wood. So, I'm okay with it. But that's all done. I can't really work on it anymore. Um, what I might do is I will build onto it for next year. So like each year I'll make five, 10 new sections and then I'll, I'll shut it down after Halloween or like a week after Halloween or something like that. And then the next year bring it back out. So we'll see, we'll see. Give you guys different badges and stuff. we go okay I think that's it for the the ladders and uh did it just get like super dark okay it's still there and it's still got no leaves on it I gotta I gotta go check it out that's that cannot be that's not lava lava has things on the top um it has leaves and that has no leaves Oh gosh, do I, what do I have? I got an end times on me. Okay, okay. Let's go do this. I hope I'm gonna be able to do this. By the way, this is completely made out of ice, if you guys didn't know. And it's very slick. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no, no. Skills. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so just to, as a reminder, I'm inside a private server, okay? So I highly doubt that that is what I think it is up there on the mountain. Okay, I'm just, don't get your hopes up. I've never seen one inside a private server. And I've been doing the Halloween event for five years. So, if it is, I'm going to be astounded because <sighs> a little bit of excitement all good all well we'll be fine oak tree oak tree all right here we go nice and easy Oh gosh, why did it get so red? Oh gosh, oh gosh, 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 gosh. Whoa! Is it like redder than before? The fog is horrible. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Go, 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 go. And verdict says... Huh, just a regular old tree. See, that's what I was seeing right there. Let's see, is there anything around the sides? No. Nope, that was it. It's just the way that it was sitting. Had one tree in front of the other. Made it look like a... 
Like a spook tree from over there? Well, shoot. That's never good. Okay, uh, since we have we have only five minutes left. Five minutes left on the clock. That's an oak tree. That's not spook. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out, everyone! It's not a real spook tree! Why are you freaking out? No! Whoa. Race. I'll race you, boulder. I think, I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to win. I'm a winner. Whoa, that was close. Dude! Why? Seriously. Let's get on out of here. Get on out of here. Oh gosh. I'm about to die. So a lot of people ask me, um, Code, why don't you die in the volcano? I do. Sometimes. Okay. It's not always. By the way, the boulders are uh, out here. Look at that. Oh, are they going to go down? Oh, go down, dude. Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, yay. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, wait. Wait for me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go. go. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. Of course, they do disappear after a while. They've they've got their debris, is what it's called. Defaulto, whenever he spawns these in, he adds them to the uh, the debris service. So after like three minutes, they disappear. Can't wait. Can I get it to go? I just realized it has a red glow to it. Look at that. Do you guys see that? Hold on. Can I push you at all? Hold on. Push. I myself cannot. Oh, oh, I did push you. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. Look out, Tom. What? What's that, sir? There's a boulder coming for you, Tom. Look out. <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. I wonder if I could go sell off a boulder. Would it count? I don't. I don't know that it would count. Is the other boulder gone? The other other boulder's not gone. So where did that boulder go? Where in the world? Hmm. I don't know where it went. Anyhow, that was that was fun, right? There it is! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wonder if you could like claim ownership and save it to your base somehow. That would be funny. <laughs> What's this? This is my time. Whenever I took a trip to the boulders, uh, to the volcano, I brought this little beauty back. Yeah, it followed me home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, a boulder followed me home. Can I keep it? <clears throat> sure, kid. Sure. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, well, that was a nice long walk that probably took three minutes to complete. Uh, by the way, has anybody noticed that the green is like the the brightest of them all? Red, green, purple. I thought it was supposed to be red, green, blue. Did we have any blue pumpkins? We did not have blue pumpkins, did we? Hold on. How much light does just one of these green ones pull off here? Okay, it's really, really not that much. Not too much, right? I mean, it does have some distance to it. Not gonna lie. Man, do you guys remember? Maybe you don't. If you're if you're new, you won't remember 
all of this. I've made a lot of videos over a long period of time. Anyhow, <clears throat> I said I was going to go show you the Rookery X. Look it up. Look up how to do the Rookery X, uh, and that's what you're going to be doing tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, after the after midnight, I think. All the servers, when they get generated, are going to do something completely different. It's going to change the entire landscape. Everything's going to get gray and dark. And it's going to be Halloween. It's going to be the end times for Lumber Tycoon 2. Do the Rookery, and you will get the end times axe. That's this thing that I'm holding in my hand. Uh, the 31st, October 31st, is the only day of the year that you can get the Rookery Axe. So stockpile. Get as many as you can today. If you want 10 Rookery Axes, you better have 10 worms, 10 light bulbs, 10 sandbags. Go, go, go. Do it now. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Priming. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Until you fill up all the dead space. <clears throat> Sorry, that's from, uh, uh, what is it, The Haunted Mansion and, um, uh, in California, in Disneyland. Love you guys, have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.